Here's a Hangman game I wrote some years ago, but I've just updated to make sure it's current. It uses the turtle module to do the drawing. Let's run it. When we run it, this is what we get. This window pops up coming from the turtle module. And in the console, we have the words. And the hyphens represent where the letters in the word are. So let's just see if we can guess. E is wrong. So look, we just drew a circle there. That's drawing the head. In the Hangman game, you, you draw a person on the gallows bit by bit. And then when they're completely drawn, then the person loses the game. And the person is yeah, hanged. Okay, so E was wrong. Uh, let's try T. Okay, there's a T in there. Um, a? Uh-huh, okay. Um, another vowel, maybe? An I? Uh, there is an I in there. So, A, I, hmm, what is this? And I just added these words myself. I'm going to cheat here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Cheater, cheater, cheater. Aircraft. Looks like it's going to be aircraft. So here's an F. And let me guess another one that's wrong. So a U. Now you notice we draw the, the body over here. And that's all the drawing we do. This program is not complete. You may want to take the code and finish it. Okay. Um, so let's see. Now A, A I R C R A F T. Hooray, we win. How does it work? Let's look. Well, let's start with these. Drawing the background sets up the window, 300 pixels wide and 500 pixels tall, and draws a line, basically, uh, the floor of the gallows. Draw head, makes a circle, draw a body, does what? Just draws a line. And then this function draws everything else. Um, if you take the challenge and finish this project, you'll make um, maybe draw left arm, draw right arm, draw left leg, draw right leg. Um, okay, so let's keep going. We have a string with a bunch of words. We split it on white space, producing a list of strings, which we pass the choice. Choice randomly chooses one, which we assign to word. Word is a string. We keep track of the correctly guessed letters and the letters that were guessed that are not in the word. Max guesses, current number of guesses. Now, this is a bit odd here. Um, <laughs> and um, I'm not even sure the type hint adds clarity. So let's just consider it without the type hint. So these are the functions that draw the parts of the poor person on the gallows. Um, after each mistake. And there are, we only have two functions that actually draw anything, the head and the body. The rest are all fake. So if we take this list and to it we concatenate this next thing, which is going to be this. So 7 minus 2 is 5. 5 times a list with draw unfinished in it gives you a list of draw unfinished in there 5 times. So we end up with... Well, maybe we should just um, put a breakpoint here and uh, let you see it. So draw functions ends up with draw head, draw body, and then five of these unfinished. Um, you'll see why in a minute. Maybe I'll just continue stepping through here. So we keep going. So we print in the console here. Seven guesses left. None of the letters in the word, which is champion, are in the correct set. So we end up with this, here I'm going to print it now, string of hyphens. Um, okay. Now this is saying if we know of any that are wrong from before, this is an empty set, so this is false. So skip that. Now we ask for the guess. So I'll say E. We add one to the number of guesses. And was I guessing a letter or did I guess the word? No. Uh, so if the length of the guess is greater than one, 
which is not because I... You see, you can... When you're ready to guess the word, you just type the word. Otherwise, you type letters. And here now, our guess is E, and the correct set is empty, so that part's not going to be true. The wrong part is empty, so that's not going to be true either. So we're not going to print. You already guessed that. Now, we want to know, is the guess in the word? Well, the word is champion. The guess is E. And it's not there, so we print wrong. And now we add the E to the wrong set. So I'll just let you watch that happen here. Here's the set wrong. And when I add the guess to it, now it's a set of one letter, E. Okay, now we're going to call one of the draw functions. And what's the length of wrong? It's one. Minus one gives us zero. So this tells me we're going to get the first draw function and then call it. Here's the function call operator, the parentheses. So let's go in. Let's we'll see where we are. Uh-huh. We're in draw head. So here we go. There's the circle for the head, and we're done with that. Back here, keep guessing. Six guesses left. Prepare the clue. Show the clue. Show the missed letters, which is just E. Get the next guess. I'm going to guess N. Okay, add one to number of guesses. If guess incorrect or wrong, no, we didn't already, we hadn't already guessed that. Is the guess in the word? Yes, so print right. And now we're going to add the guess to correct. Correct at the moment is an empty set. And I'm about to add an N to it. Back around to loop some more. Okay, what's my guess? I'm going to go ahead and guess the word. Because I cheated. And we add one to number guesses. If we got it, then we print right, and then we break. And that takes us out of the loop, which ends the program. Okay, did I cover everything? Yeah, I think that's it. See you next time.